Hey, this is Andrew Hendricks. I'm going to take you guys with me on a mandolin safari where we're going to go check out a Fender 64 Mando Caster at Heyday Music in beautiful downtown Asheville. I think these, I'm no historian here, but I think these things were made between like 56 and 76 or something like that. And it's always just a blast when you stumble across one. So let's check it out. It's like to be here for Vintage Guitar Magazine. We have my buddy Charles here take a look at, show us this amp that we're gonna be playing this awesome Fender through. So yeah. what's the story about this? So this is an old projector amp cabinet that we put some different speakers in. This one has an old Celestion G1230. Oh, sweet. Um, but the circuit is an old 5F2A Tweed Princeton uh, that our, our friend is building. Uh, it's Marla amplification. And we're just calling them the prototype. This one's number five. They've all been a different speaker. They're all a different cabinet, but it's the same uh, circuit. So this one, one volume, no tone, because you awesome. got it right here. Yeah. And uh, they're great. All right, let's check this out. Thanks. Thanks for setting me up here. I really appreciate being here, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. All right, let's take a look at this. This is. Uh quite pretty and I like that it has some I like that it has some mojo I am definitely a fan of instruments that have been played it's nice when you find them in a closet too of course for the collectors out there but this looks looks like it's been loved and it's been out been out there on the road which I am all for man as a player so let's see what this thing sounds like uh, into this sweet amp here <laughs> Some strings. What I do is uh, see if this instrument for you guys uh, takes well to pedals because some of these mandolins really shine with pedals, and of course, we have tons of stuff here that is all a good choice, but I would say a, a delay. Okay. And maybe like an overdrive, if, and I'll just let you pick whatever you you okay. think might. I don't know what, we want to work here, but oh man, yeah, look at this stuff. Um, We're going yeah, to hard. Nashville delay. Oh, awesome. for sure. All right, I don't think I've played through this, so this will oh. be fun. This is cool. I have an old analog man, analog man delay that I like, but I'm always this, looking. So. This got me to sell mine. All right, I love it. All right, good. So we're gonna check that out. And then let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, this is a, a company out of Kansas, Brown Amplification. Oh, sweet. Um, All right. And this is one side of a dual-sided pedal. So this is the sort of, like, it's like an ODR. Oh yeah, that's great. All right, let's see what we got going on here. <laughs>
that's like normal. Oh, that's or great. you can roll off lows. So when you start having it like the feedback and the repeats going, it doesn't get all muddy. That sounds really cool, especially that tone of the mandolin, since they can be so shrill. Is That with the tone control on this is pretty awesome. Yeah. And I just the, the, uh, the modulation feels really organic. So in terms of this instrument's feel, this thing is butter. If anything, my my um, my I'm like overplaying these strings because they feel so like buttery. So I'm actually kind of like probably messing with intonation a little bit on this, uh, which is okay. But I mean, this is as easy as a, of an electric as you could play. You could almost probably take this up to like nine, I don't know what these are, but you could probably take these up to even like nines or 9.5s if you felt like you had really strong fingers. But this is, I mean, this, just with this string gauge feels really easy to play. I would I have to adjust my touch just a little bit because I'm too heavy handed, but this is amazing. I would just just not be so uh, not so aggressive with it and just like find just kind of play to this instrument because I wouldn't touch it and, and it's not 